Hey team, I'm Adam. I'm part of the Teams team here at Microsoft. This week, we'll be featuring a collaborative app that makes it really easy to connect and problem solve with your teammates. Whether you're working remotely or hybrid, synchronously or asynchronously. And that app is Mural. Now I'm gonna go through how to get started with Mural on Teams and explore some of the cool ways to use it in your everyday life. So let's get started. Before you get started, you'll need to become a Mural member. They've got a range of different plans to choose from so you can find the best one for your team. With Teams open, go to the left side rail and click the apps icon. If you don't see any apps in here or just a few, just reach out to your IT admin. Use the search bar, find Mural, select its icon and click to get started. Of course, be sure to pin the app so that you don't have to search for it next time. And off we go. Let's start with creating a mural from a channel. So any channel member can contribute at any time, setting up for some great asynchronous collaboration. Go to the plus at the top of any channel, select mural, and then add. Select the workspace and the room, choose to create a new mural, and then hit save. You'll see on the left that we have a wide range of new tools, everything from text boxes and shapes to icons and frameworks, images, content, files, and a drawing pen. And if you have a surface, try drawing with a great surface pen. On the top, you'll have things to customize the experience, such as voting sessions to gain consensus, private mode to focus only on your content, a custom toolbar, and even a timer to time cap sessions. We've got a full-on toolbox to work with. Okay, so let's start with something easy by starting in the framework section. And whether it's a layout or a specific scenario, there's so much to work with. So let's imagine for a moment that we just wrapped up a long project. We wanna capture the learnings across the team. In the agile section, choose the retrospective framework. There it is. We have three separate columns here. First, what went well? Second, what didn't go well? And the actions that we should consider from that project. I'll get things going by just jotting down a couple of my thoughts and some stickies. And now I can notify the team that they can go in and add their own comments. This is a great way to asynchronously collaborate using Mural. But you can also take this into a team's meeting for real-time collaboration. Let's take a peek into what this looks like inside a meeting. Okay, once you're here, click the three dots at the top and add Mural to the meeting. We'll see the Mural that we were actually just working on from earlier, Team Retrospective. Let's select that, and near the top right, you'll see the share to stage icon, which will expand this into the main meeting stage. Now, you'll see others in the meeting, and they're making changes in real time right from Teams. There's Aisha. Everyone on the call can co-author, and they can see what's happening in real time. This is some true real-time collaboration. And of course, there's so much you can do, but we're gonna stop here today. Imagine the way that your team can create in real time, from planning an event to building your next strategy. Everyone together on a single mural right in Teams. There are so many more ways to use Mural in Teams. So if you want to give it a try, let us know so we can share it back with the community. And of course, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next collaborative app of the week and can discover all the ways you can use Microsoft Teams.